So here we go with this exercise uh, degree bound for this uh, for separate separable extensions. So precisely we have suppose we have a separable extension. And uh, we have the following property. So for any for any element in L we have the bound of the extension of K by alpha. So we suppose that in other words all simple extensions uh, are bounded by some degree N. And then we want to prove that n bounds also the degree of l. So this is the statement. And we prove it by contradiction. So uh, first of all, well, let's pick n, this, uh, this integer, n minimal. This is n. Let n be minimal. So there is an element with uh, of degree exactly n, and n is the minimal with the property in the statement. So there is an element, say, of degree exactly n and we proceed by contradiction so we assume that uh, l over k has strictly higher degree than n so in particular since k of alpha is of degree exactly n we have that k of alpha is different from L, so it's strictly contained in L. So we can pick some other element in between the two, the two fields. So we pick beta in L minus k of alpha. And we consider, so we let, let's denote by L0, the extension, so we have now an intermediate extension, k of alpha beta. I consider this extension as, a, if you want, as k of alpha extended by beta. Now, what we have is that, of course, uh, it is a simple extension of k of alpha, which is finite, so L0 is finite and separable. over k, of course separable since it is a sub-extension of a separable extension. So we can apply the primitive element uh, theorem and write this as a simple extension, say k of uh, z by the primitive element. Now, what happens if we apply the degree theorem? So we, we take a look at the degree of L0 over k, and we apply the Tower law. Say we think of L0 as, uh, as we defined it just before, which is um, k of alpha and beta. So this is equal to k or say to the degree of L0 over k of alpha times um, the degree of k alpha over k. So here I'm looking at the chain k, k of alpha at uh, 0 which is k of alpha and beta. 
and this is n by our assumption and l0 and k alpha are different so this is strictly uh, this is strictly bigger than one so we obtain that this is strictly uh, bigger than n which uh, clearly contradicts the minimality of n in the sense that if we think of a zero now as a simple extension uh, this we found an element z for which k of z is uh, as degree so k z has degree strictly bigger than n and this is contradiction by our assumption on n